Today, the China National Space Administration, that's not a mouthful, is it? Or the CNSA announced that they've successfully landed the Chang'ur 5 lunar spacecraft in the Ocean of Storms region on the moon. China has big plans for the moon, and they've already announced they intend to send a crewed mission to the lunar south pole within 10 years. Chang'ur 5 touched down at 11 minutes past 3 GMT and immediately started work deploying its probes and its drill to collect samples. If everything goes to plan, the lander will spend the next couple of days collecting up to two kilograms of lunar material, some dug from at least two meters below the surface. These samples will then be transferred to the lunar ascent module, which will then launch up into lunar orbit and rendezvous with the mothership, or the Earth return vehicle. That return vehicle will bring the samples back to Earth, touching down in Inner Mongolia in around mid-December. That will be a landmark event itself, since pristine moon samples have not been returned to the Earth since 1976, when the Soviets returned about 170 grams or so. Chang'e 5 is solar powered, so it has to get all of its work done within the next two weeks. A lunar day lasts about 29 Earth days, so each site on the moon gets about two weeks of continuous daylight followed by two weeks of continuous darkness, and Chang'e 5 isn't designed to survive the lunar night. So although the Chang'e 5 mission has a very short operational lifespan, the actual samples and data collected will be studied for years to come. I mean, think about it, even now, scientists are still studying moon rocks brought back from the Apollo missions. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.